For these multi-step problems, solving multiplication and division calculations, I've used some quite simple numbers because the focus here is on how to solve the problems rather than working with big numbers. Remember to use the Rucksack acronym throughout this. It really is useful. Here's one we're going to go through together. Paul helps out in his dad's shop during the summer holiday and gets paid £7 for each hour he works. He works four hours for three days each week. He does this for six weeks. How much money does Paul earn by the end of the holiday? So we're being asked to find out how much money he earns. We know that he earns £7 for each hour we know that he works four hours a day for three days each week and he does that for six weeks. Now we've established the numbers, we need to work out which calculations to do. There's more than one order to do this. I'm going to start by finding out how many hours Paul works a week. We know that each day he works four hours and that he does three days every week. So four hours for three days, that's four times three, which is 12 hours a week. Now we need to know how many hours that is in six weeks. So we take those 12 hours and we multiply that by six. And if you know your six times tables, you'll know that that's 72. Now that we've established he works 72 hours in the six weeks, we need to work out how much he's going to be paid. For each of those 72 hours, Paul is paid £7. So the calculation is 72 multiplied by 7, which is 504. How much money does Paul earn by the end of the holiday? he earns £504 altogether. Use the Rucksack acronym to make sure that you are doing everything and check that you have answered the question that was asked, how much money, not how many hours or how many weeks. Here's one for you to try. Sarah charges £5 for every car she cleans. She cleans six cars a day for two days each week. She does this for eight weeks. How much money does Sarah earn by the end of the eight weeks? Remember to use the Rucksack acronym to make sure you do everything to answer the question. Pause the video, have a go. We're being asked how much money Sarah earns in eight weeks. Read the question. She charges £5 for each car. She cleans six cars a day for two days each week. And she does that for eight weeks. Then to start with, how many cars does she clean each week? She cleans six cars a day and she does that for two days a week. So we're going to multiply six by two. Every week, Sarah cleans 12 cars. Now we need to know how many cars that is in eight weeks. We know that she cleans 12 cars a week, so we're going to multiply 12 by eight, which is 96 cars. How much money does she earn in total? We know that she cleaned 96 cars, and we know that she charges £5 for each car. So the calculation is 96 multiplied by 5, which is 480. Just going to check that we've answered the question. How much money does Sarah earn by the end of the eight weeks? She earns £480. This time we need to do something a little bit different. Mr Green needs 72 pens each term for his class. Pens come in packs of eight and each pack costs three pounds. 
there are three terms in every school year. How much will Mr Green need to spend on pens this year? The question we need to answer is how much he spends, not how many pens he buys. And we need to know how much he spends in the year. So we're going to start with how many packs of pens does he need to order each term? He needs 72 pens each term and the pens come in packs of 8. So the calculation here is division. 72 divided by 8, which is 9. So he needs to order 9 packs of pens each term. Now we need to know the cost for each term. Each packet of pens costs £3. If he buys 9 packets of pens a term at £3 each packet, that's £3 times by 9, which is £27. So each term, Mr Green spends £27 on pens. But there are three terms in the school year, and we've been asked to find out how much he spends in a year. If there are three terms in a year, we need to multiply three by 27 to find out how much he spends a year. 27 times by three, and the answer to that is 81. Mr Green spends £81 each year on pens for his class. And here's a similar one for you to try. Mrs White needs 60 exercise books for her class each half term. Exercise books come in packs of 12 and each pack costs £4. There are six half terms in every year. How much does Mrs White need to spend on exercise books for the whole year? The question's asking us how much Mrs White has to spend in a whole year. It's not asking us how many exercise books, but we need to find how many to be able to answer the question, how much does she spend? Pause the video, have a go. Breaking the question down, into mini tasks. First of all, Mrs White needs 60 exercise books each half term. The exercise books come in packs of 12. So the first thing we need to do is find out how many packs she needs each half term and that's going to be a division. 60 divided by 12 will tell us how many packs she needs each half term. And if you know your 12 times table, you'll know that 5 times 12 is 60. So she will need 5 packs of exercise books each half term. Now we need to find out how much she's going to spend each half term. She needs 5 packs of exercise books and each pack costs £4. So she's going to multiply that £4 by 5 and that's £20 each half term. Remember the question wants to know how much in a whole year. Each half term she spends £20. There are six half terms so we need to multiply those together. 20 times by 6 and if you remember that 2 times 6 is 12 you should be able to work out that 20 times 6 is 120. Just check that we've done everything we need to do and that we have answered the question and Mrs White spends £120 each year on exercise books.